My roadmap three is the strategic guide for Indigenous health research for the NH and MRC. It's a critical part of the work we do to make sure the NH and MRC as an agency is on track, doing all the right things, involving and engaging Aboriginal communities. Roadmap three builds on the concept that actually it's community um, that needs to drive priorities. And that voice of community is actually you know, at the forefront of how the document's presented. And that's really exciting because the Aboriginal and Torres Strait community aren't the object of curious investigation. They're the drivers of um, solutions and strength-based options that are affecting them and their community. The development of Roadmap 3 took an HMRC and, and the members of the Principal Committee Indigenous Caucus to different um, states and different towns across Australia to actually get uh, input from, uh, from Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities, research and other non-Indigenous allies working in this space. It was a process of um, talking to researchers, talking to community members about what are the values, what are the principles and what's the best way to do uh, research with partnership with community. It's actually designed for not only the NHMRC but also researchers out there to make sure that we're getting the pattern set on where we want research. Firstly from a NHMRC perspective it's important for us to reflect on our internal values as well as our internal uh, processes in which we actually get research achieved through what we want to um, have research in. So if we change the system to make sure that NHMRC has Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Health as a priority then that will reflect on who it's actually written for which is the research now the researcher out there needs to make sure that they're actually looking for outcomes for the community. So at the previous uh, iterations of where we're looking at research, there's no incentive or certainly no pathway to encourage Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander research. So the roadmap actually sets out a pathway that if you're a researcher, there is an avenue for you to come through to be reviewed, to get the funding you need to make sure the community gets the outcomes they need. So I think it's a really good process for both. Ultimately, we really want to close the gap. We want to see continued health improvements for Indigenous Australians, so Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people everywhere. That is the ultimate gain. But along the way in the next 10 years, we want to see more terrific research, more Aboriginal-led research, Aboriginal researchers, but we really want communities embedded in that research and owning that research agenda. It's really got to have more Aboriginal leadership, involvement and investment in, in producing the sort of health outcomes we want.